and we are back and also back Dr. Lori for a little dumpster or no dumpster, which it's we so always fun. love playing. And it's fun to see everybody submissions when they put them onto Facebook. It's right. always great to get those. How are you, Dr. Lori? I'm really fine. I'm doing fine. Yeah, the Facebook page is very active. There's a lot there, too, that has nothing to do with dumpster, no dumpster. But you can submit your pictures to the Facebook page at Tampa Bay's Morning Blend and they may be considered for a free appraisal during Dumpster or No Dumpster. And we try to get to everybody, so submit those photos, and thanks for doing it. Um, do I see some Disney fun on your table right there? All I think I see Tinkerbell. Fun. Snow yeah. White. We've got some, a lot of Disney fun. She's my favorite, of course, as you know, Snow White the brunette princess. There you <laughs> and, go. Uh, she's a lot of Disney fun. And of course, Tinkerbell. Everyone loves Tinkerbell. <laughs> so. I love Tink. Oh, fun. Well, we know Disney down here does extremely well, but let's go ahead and see this first item. See if it's over our $50 threshold. Looks like we're going back old school here. Little old school, you know, not so Disney here. A Lincoln and Johnson political campaign button from 1864 with their early photographs as well. So very, very rare political collectibles. And as we get closer to the 2024 election cycle, you will see political collectibles increase in value. These are very rare. They're the originals. This is what a campaign button would have looked like um, just, of course, after the just during the Civil War, 1864, with Lincoln, President Lincoln and then Vice President Johnson, who then later becomes President Johnson after the assassination of Lincoln. No way would I Holy get rid of those. Cow. No <laughs> Holy cow, right. right. Wow, what's the value on these, Dr. Lori? We're both in unison yeah. and enthusiastic. No way. <laughs> An enthusiastic no dumpster. They're worth 20, it's, it is worth $2,500. You see the front and the back. They actually would be connected together and they would be held on a pin. They're called buttons because campaign buttons in the 18th century were actually part of your coat. You would actually sew them onto your coat to show who you were supporting. These are actually more pins. Then. That was really a minute. wonderful there you example. Go. Wow, yeah, a nice hundred dollars. That's a good way That's to start. That's the most That's expensive dumpster or no dumpster that I've I seen. I think it might be the most expensive that I've seen too here, Dr. Lori. Remember, historical value, political collectibles are always big, and so are other collectibles. You know, Disney's big. <sighs> yeah. All right. Nice. So what do you have next? This is a rolling pin and oval dough tray. So basically, it's a dough trough. You would basically knead the dough, and then you would use, of course, the rolling pin. It's from the early 1900s. It dates between 1900 and 1915. Obviously, it's been used. That's understandable, and collectors will, of course, look for that type of condition. People say, oh, everything has to be in perfect shape. Well, with certain objects, collectors want them to be used and to be oh. able to see that use and wear. So you're, you are trying to guess the value for the pay, the set, the oval dough tray, as well as the rolling pin and their wood. I have no idea. I'm going to say no dumpster because it's so old. And, and I think I'm going to go no dumpster because I know that it's something that people collect, right. the kitchen things. And the fact that you did say that sometimes things want to be used, this is, that's also leaning me towards a yeah. no dumpster. $125 okay. for the set. Yes, kitchen Anna or kitchen collectibles, very desirable. People like that antique look in the kitchen. Kitchen Anna. I like that. There we go. Okay. What is our final item, of course, sent in from our viewers? Little tea time. Little tea time. A cobalt blue ceramic and gilt decorated china. So that's bone china. That means there's bone ash with the feldspar when they mix the clay. Bone china tea set. It's made in America. It dates to the 1960s. It looks like a an incomplete set. We would typically have six cups and saucers. We're only showing oh. five. Uh, somebody broke the sixth one. Oh, right, that would be something I would do. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say no dumpster. I'm going to go no dumpster, but Dr. Lori, we have talked about China sets before, and sometimes, you know, the China sets pass down. People don't know what to do with them. Sure. You know, you kind of, they're not as popular as they once were. With the blue, the gilding, I'm also leaning towards no dumpster because you do have quite a few pieces there, even if it's not a complete set. No dumpster, $100. Tea sets are very collectible. You'd be surprised. Most people would say, 
oh, you know, the young adults don't want them, the 25, 30 year olds. I can't tell you how many video call appraisals I do. 20, yeah. late 20, early 30 year olds setting up their houses, collecting tea sets. I actually have a tea set in our house. Do you? We have yep, a glass you know, storage thing with a lot of our family heirlooms, and we have yep. a tea set in ours. So I am glad to hear that. Whatever viewer sent that in, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> be sure to keep sending in yours as well. Dr. Laura, you love taking a look at that. And uh, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. Have a good day.